Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. A series of polls conducted this month indicate that the race between Vice President Kamala Harris and former President Donald Trump remains an apparent dead heat less than five weeks before the election. The three most recent major polls show Harris maintaining a national lead, though it may be getting closer. Harris drives Trump 46% to 43% in a four-day Reuters-Ipsos survey finished Monday, in the wake of driving him by six in a Septance 20-23 Reuters-Ipsos survey. A New York Times-Siena poll released on Tuesday shows Harris leading Trump by 49% to 46%, marking the first time she has done so since July. Similar to her position in the morning consult survey from last week, Harris holds a five-point lead in the weekly poll that was also released on Tuesday. Three recent polls showed Harris ahead. In a poll conducted by Emerson on Thursday, the results were 50% to 48%. In a poll conducted by Susquehanna on October 2nd, the results were 49% to 44%. And in a poll conducted by economist Sosh Yugov on Wednesday, the margins were identical to those of the previous poll conducted by economist Yugov from Sept 21 to 24. A Quinnipiac survey released on September 24, a New York Times Siena survey released on September 19, and a CNN SSRS survey released on September 24, all showed Trump and Harris tied, while virtually all other polls show Harris ahead. Since announcing her candidacy on July 21, Harris has eliminated Trump's lead over President Joe Biden. However, her advantage has decreased slightly over the past two months, peaking at 3.7 points in late August, according to 538's weighted polling average. The most recent polling average from Real Clear Politics shows that Harris leads Trump by that much. In the meantime, Harris holds a 2.6 point advantage according to 538's average, and Nate Silver's Silver Bulletin forecast has Harris leading by 3 points. In a head-to-head -head matchup among likely voters, the poll which was released on Tuesday shows that Harris has a 3 point lead over Trump, 49% to 46%. In a race with multiple candidates, Harris maintains a 3 point lead over Trump, 47% to 44%. According to the poll, only Green Party candidate Jill Stein and Libertarian Party candidate Chase Oliver would receive more than half a point in that scenario. When respondents were asked which candidate represents change more, the vice president outperformed her GOP opponent. 46% said Harris, 44% said Trump, 2% said both, 4% said neither, and 4% said they were unsure or refused to answer. When it came to representing change among non-white and younger likely voters, Harris's lead was most significant. Non-whites viewed Harris more favorably than Trump, with 61% viewing him as the change candidate. 58% of likely voters under the age of 30 thought the Democratic nominee represented change while 34% thought the former president did the same. According to pollsters, Harris has led the Times Square Siena survey for the first time since July. Shortly after the two candidates debated last month, Harris and Trump were tied for 47% of the vote nationally. The national polling average from the Hill Decision Desk HQ shows that Harris and Trump are in a close race as well, with Trump leading by 3.4 points, 50% to 46.6%. The most recent Times Siena poll included 3,285 likely voters and was conducted from September 29 to October 6. There is a 2.4 percentage point sampling error. Some 70% of those polled said the cost of living would be the most important economic issue for the next president to address. Only a small percentage chose the job market, taxes or leaving me better off financially. In each of those areas, Trump received more support than Harris did but voters favored Harris to close the wealth gap between the average American by a margin of 42% to 35%. Concerns about immigration, which are currently at their highest level in over a century in the United States, appeared to be buoying Trump. A statement that immigrants who are in the country illegally are a danger to public safety was supported by approximately 53% of voters in the poll, while 41% of those polled disagreed. In a Reuters-Ipsos poll conducted in May, 46% of respondents disagreed and 45% agreed with the question. Throughout the year, Trump has brought attention to crimes committed by immigrants in the country illegally at campaign rallies. Despite the lack of information regarding criminals' immigration status, most studies have found that immigrants are not more likely than native-born Americans to commit crimes. Since Harris entered the race at the end of July, she has outperformed Trump in each of the six Reuters-Ipsos polls on their matchup. 
Among those voters who appeared to be most likely to vote in November, the most recent poll showed Harris leading by two percentage points, 47% to 45%. According to an estimate from the Pew Research Center, approximately two-thirds of eligible voters participated in the 2020 presidential election. In the most recent poll, 55% of voters agreed with the statement that Harris was mentally sharp and able to deal with challenges while 46% of voters agreed with the same statement about Trump. The Electoral College's state-by-state -state results determined the winner, with seven battleground states likely to be decisive, in contrast to national surveys like those conducted by Reuters and Ipsos. In these battleground states, Harris and Trump are tied in polls, with many results within the margin of error. Following a poor performance in a debate against Trump in June, Democratic President Joe Biden abandoned his bid for re-election. This led to Harris's entry into the race. At the time, Trump was widely considered to be the front-runner because, following several years of high inflation under the Biden administration, people thought he was strong on the economy. One on 272 adults in the United States were surveyed online in the most recent Reuters-Ipsos poll, including 1,076 registered voters. 969 of these were thought to be most likely to vote on election day.